Howdy, 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 my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Virgo, for the 1st of August. So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading helps you out, Virgo, because that's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments, of course, darling. As well, Virgo, if you want to support me, a completely free way to do that is by just giving this video a like and subscribe. It helps me out more than you ever possibly can know. All right, Virgo, today we're going to get into three uh, rows for you with tarot. All right, your first row, we're going to be talking about your financial and career situation. Your second row today, we're going to be talking about your social life. All right, this could be dealing with a romantic or a platonic relationship, an ex, you know, family, very situational. And then in the third row, Virgo, which is a per my personal favorite, we're going to be getting into pr general predictions for you. And this is the row that's really going to give you a lot of clarity about where spirit is trying to direct you, where spirit is trying to guide you at this time. All right, Virgo be sure to consume more than just your one zodiac uh, sign when you're reading getting tarot readings today virgo be sure to get your sun moon rising as well as your venus let's get the energy for what's in uh, um, you are embodying this week what is around you which seems to be the world card really fabulous here virgo i want to be making note i just finished doing uh taurus's reading by the way so if you're dealing with the taurus you know someone that has some strong taurus in the chart maybe you do all right check out taurus's reading because they have the full energy all right the fool is the beginning of the major arcana storyline and then the world card is the final card in the major arcana storyline and so i do see that synchronicity here for you all right what does the fool represent or the world represent for you though virgo all right closing out cycles and beginning new ones all right very fitting for you Virgo, when you think about it for the first of the month, right? For August here, all right? I feel like you tied up loose ends, all right? I spent, I feel as if for you, you spent the last, or the past few months now not being able to make too much progression for what it is that you've wanted to do, Virgo. All right, I do see that. But I feel like for you, August is going to be a month of where doors are finally starting to open up. I'm being shown clouds starting to disperse as well, like dark clouds. So I'm taking that as symbolization of where whatever has been like looming anxiety um, that's been hanging over your head. I see, especially in the workplace environment here, Virgo, you've been having some anxiety when it comes to like some of you guys making sure that you have enough money each uh, month to be able to pay for rent here. All right. I see for others of you guys some anxiety when it comes to instability, when it comes to your finances and what have you. And what I want to just let you guys know ahead of time, just for your financial before we get, really get into the cards, is that things are looking extremely powerful in the home life, in the career here. All right. Um, things are looking really powerful socially for you. Uh, Virgo. All right. I feel like in your social life, you are, if you just recently close out a connection, a relationship in your life, I feel like you're going to be starting something else pretty soon after the fact. All right. Um, it's almost a sense for you where it's like spirit is saying, it's like, oh, Virgo, you thought you were done, darling. But plot twist, we have another uh, situation uh, for you to be managing. All right. But I feel like this is really good for you here, especially due to what cards we have. And I'll explain more of why that is. And predictions for you just in general, Virgo. A lot of things are just closing out for you, tying up loose ends, as I said at the very beginning of this reading here. I get like this sense for many of you, Virgo. It may not happen this month, but I feel like I do. It's a very specific message in that I see some of you like turning the key to your first apartment, turning the key to a place of your own here is what I'm getting. I also want to be just letting some of you Virgos know that I get like this impression of where there's something that's like built up here virgo all right something intense is going to be happening for you and i guess it makes sense here because we have the archangel camwell the life experience card coming in for your career first and foremost all right big changes are occurring you know what the only way i can best describe the feeling that i have currently is that if you if you're familiar with hurricane season and you understand like if you're like a floridian especially you'll understand like the energy just feels different right before right before like a thunderstorm so i guess you don't need to be in a hurricane season or like just like the feelings of intensity that you just you could just like cut it with a butter knife all right something's really major building up for you here uh virgo and whatever it is it's going to be helping assist you in um it's going to be taking all of your attention is what i see this as it's like all like anything else that you had to juggle beforehand like it's no longer relevant but the positive side of this, right? The reason why I'm so optimistic is you have the six of fire, the six of wands here. This is the card of public recognition, success. 
what I see for you guys in your career here, Virgo, to be quite honest here, it's like for many of you um, that have been putting in a lot of work, like auditioning, like I feel like a lot of you Virgos have been scraping at the bottom of the barrel, whatever that looks like for you. Maybe for a lot of you, you've been eating just like top ramen for a while because you just haven't been able to afford anything else here. This seems to be symbolize here, Virgo, this sense of where August is coming in and whatever impactful, like this could be the sense of either you or someone you know, just, you know, for example like comes into a lot of money here comes into a lot of success for many of you virgos it's just you yourself personally where it's just like everything that you've been having to juggle with making sure nothing falls and breaks because if one thing breaks then it's like an avalanche effect i feel for you like you've been put doing so much effort uh putting in so much effort virgo into making sure nothing breaks and you're finally going to be rewarded for it. it's like this sense of where the burden is going to be finally taken up it's like you've been juggling with all this waiting for someone to like take over right and then someone else jumps in and to help you know whatever this news is really relieves that here i really get like this sense for you virgo for many of you especially you've been trying to like um if you have like your own business that benefits from other people seeing it like a breakout opportunity for your business here things coming down for your business i get for many of you your project uh, uh, Virgos, all right. For some of you, you're, you're going to be able to have the time to pay, uh, the time to invest more energy into certain projects to get them off the ground to be really successful here. Like something clears up, but in the name of it being an extremely positive thing. So it's like a lot of drastic shifts are happening, but it's like shifts that are happening because of something extremely positive, right? Like you're only able to like move, for example, because, you know, you come into money that pays off your, you know, your bills. So you can afford that, that pays for the mortgage and stuff like that. So be expecting when it comes to your financial and career situation, because I do feel like it's associated with like where you're putting your roots uh, into as well, Virgo, like, some major changes are coming and it's because you, it's the sense of where spirit is doing this because they want like you've been personally desiring of like changing like for some of you guys it's like your town the state that you've lived in the country for some of you virgos it's like yeah this has served me i'm bored i don't want to do this anymore right and so your spiritual team is just like all right darling bet like you know you want to move darling we're gonna like set up the get the path started for you all right in regards to your social life here, Virgo, all right, you have the seven of fire, seven of wands coming in here. I wouldn't be surprised here, Virgo. Just watch your back at this time, all right? Because I get like this sense for you, Virgo, of where while while you are dealing with, because like we'll get into this in a moment, but your other cards really clarify this, but it's like you're going to be getting people asking for handouts. You're going to be dealing with people, Virgo, of where they just want to take, 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 take. Or where it's just like they're going to try to discredit you, Virgo. They're going to try to just make you feel bad about it. You know what? I don't know why this analogy just comes to mind, but it's just like that sense of like right before you go and get that second helping at Thanksgiving for like some macaroni and cheese, you have that one, you have that one grimy, crusty aunt, judgmental aunt or uncle that tries to say something like, oh, you're going to get another helping or whatever, whatever you know just to say something just to piss you off just to like you know it's like they only do that just to put that seed of doubt and you're just like you know what like why are you even here right why are you even talking to me all right so just be prepared for that virgo i am just feeling a little bit skeptical about some of the people around you and like also here i get like an analogy where it's just like now that things like your time is starting to be freed up a little bit virgo all right and like you're no longer juggling so much on your own plate i get like this sense for some of you virgo it's just like someone's comes in just like oh virgo since you you're no longer juggling all that over there here's here's all my problems here's all my burdens for you to be dealing with all right since you have so much free time you know deal with my stuff right because i you know because it's just it's not fair that your life is starting to free up it's not fair that you're starting to have things come into place for you while i'm over here struggling right that's the type of energy that i get like very selfish energy it's very dehumanizing towards you all right and this is what i was saying here virgo all right so at the beginning with the seven of wands seven of fire here it's like this sense of like people wanting payout like handouts from you with the six of pentacles here you know it literally says in the card gifts of money time and effort new career opportunities being able to pay off debts like this card embodies everything i was just saying uh virgo and i wasn't even aware about it until right now because i like even though we have the cards right here i don't really look at them until we start unpacking them actively all right like when i tell you what cards you got like that's when i know as well because <laughs> there's a lot going on from the reader's point of view when you're doing these types of readings um but yeah virgo over 
overall, just when it comes to your social life, just be prepared for certain people, darling. All right, be prepared for as the good news comes, naturally that's when the rats come. Naturally, that's when the leeches come, right? When the food starts getting cook, uh, is cooking, that's when the roaches come, essentially here, Virgo, all right? So just don't be entertaining them. That's the only thing I'm a little bit skeptical on. Uh, perhaps be careful about who you share your successes with here. All right, that was really kind of like the theme of this because I don't feel like anyone's going to take necessarily action unless you entertain it. Like unless you choose to entertain them, Virgo, I don't see anything of substance really coming in for me to like raise an eyebrow about and be like, all right, girl, be prepared. But um, yeah, overall, just like be careful about who you open up to at this time. OK, don't engage with these people predictions for you queen of earth queen of pentacles coming in what the universe really wants you to understand at this time uh virgo is that you are going to be taken care of your turn is definitely coming virgo all right you've been making sure that everyone else has been taken care of everyone else is eating eating everyone else is good your time matters as well and you're not going to be dealing with certain challenges in the coming days by yourself just you know just like how you have you know think about it in this way virgo so it's going to be very specific to you each of you i feel like there's a specific message in just in that how the type of friend the type of lover the type of family member sibling the type of person that you've been to other people you know the emotional shoulder or however you've been financially supportive like whatever the case is like the type of person that you have been in other people's lives those are the type of people that are going to come into your life in the coming days here virgo all right and so there's a few reasons as to why i'm so specific in that message i mean let's just be real one virgo let's just acknowledge let's call a spade a spade there's 12 zodiac signs billions of people on this planet honey there's guaranteed gonna be some crappy virgos just like there's some crappy libras and what have you darling not my camera cutting off after i said that maybe i pissed off a virgo too <laughs> that's all right but let's just be real i purposely said this about the queen of pentacles here is because you know for some you know there might you maybe you've been treating some people like garbage all right let's just be non-biased here but for many of you virgos all right as i was saying beforehand you know for those that have been such a strong emotional support for other people for those you know you were having to juggle with so many other of other people's burdens virgo all right you know that's the type of person that's going to be coming in for you because that's what i keep on hearing for you it's just like now it's your turn virgo now it's your turn to start reaping the benefits now it's your turn to finally start being spoiled all right to finally start feeling appreciated essentially here it's now it's your turn to feel a little bit selfish you know truly Archangel Gabriel is stepping forward to you as well as, you know, with that Archangel Camwell. Both of these Archangels are the ones that came forward to you this week here, Virgo. So if you are interested in opening up to Archangels, all right, if your path aligns with that, you know, I'm just simply a messenger, darling. It's up to you to do what you want to do, what you want to do, darling. My life don't change. All right. Uh, the Empress energy. A lot of people, this is your energy, by the way, Virgo, right? Um, a lot of people um i see this as virgo libra <clears throat> personally anyways all right maybe it's someone else but what i see coming in for you virgo is i guess perhaps this is just how people see you as because this is how i see you as all right the empress represents fertility she represents abundance she represents like a lot of people admiring you and what it is that you are going to be coming into fruition with right because the empress represents fertility you know i will just acknowledge the sense for the for some of you virgos if you're not trying to get pregnant darling be careful all right or if you are congrats potentially here but also when you think about fertility it's like giving birth to like a dream giving birth to you know for many of you guys you consistently have this message here finally just like receiving the reaping the benefits of what it is that you've been doing right you've been just finally waiting to give birth to you know having that payout right so you're no longer struggling you've been biding your time until like it was your turn and essentially is it is coming here virgo all right you do have the four of water four of cups coming in here i do feel like for you virgo the thing to be watching out for is that uh, you <laughs> just don't think that the doors that are going to open up for you look in a specific way i feel like some of you virgos need to be more open-minded with how your success comes with how your journey is going to be looking all right virgo some of you guys have been playing it safe is what i hear 
All right, you guys have been playing playing it safe, and now it's your turn, Virgo, to be the one that garners attention here. For some of you Virgos, it's like you are not the one that will post on social media or really like dress all that, do the most, right? Like I feel like you will, you are usually the last person, Virgo, to really like call for attention here. But I feel like that's really like what it is that you're deserving of at this time. I feel like that's just what is necessary for you, Virgo. All right. What I want to be saying for you is just like how your success looks, how your success, uh, rather Virgo, how your success story is going to be is not how you think it's going to be. All right. That's something I really want to be stressing out, uh, stressing for you, Virgo. It's just like, because you might be so narrow minded with what you want your success to look like, you might block it out. All right. So that's what I'll say on that coming in. All right. Let's start getting your Oracle cards to wrap up this tarot reading here. All right. You have the magician sword, magician sword, magician's sword coming in here. Confidence is the key in your magic here, Virgo. All right. You guys are going to, I mean, really, that's the epitome of like uh, opening up to the magician's journey initially here. Right, Virgo. What I want you guys to really acknowledge here, Virgo, is really this sense of like, I don't even know if confidence is the right word or maybe it is for you, Virgo. Maybe it's like the sense of you lacked confidence in being able to unapologetically be that queen of pentacles, right? But I feel like for you, this is just that sign of just like really having the confidence and knowing it's just like, you know, you understand what it is that you provide. You understand yourself, Virgo. And so it's just like you, you realize that you are constantly teaching other people how to treat you. And now you are being okay with um, telling people to treat you better. All right. You have the vanishing mirror coming in here. Ego sublimation. Girl, I literally Taurus got this one. Literally Taurus got this one. And even during your pre-shuffle Virgo, um, you guys got the fool card. And that's like the beginning card that Taurus got as well. Like if y'all are dealing with a Taurus Virgo or if you have Taurus in your chart, that's definitely going to be a reading for y'all to be checking out. All right. Because it's kind of crazy. The synchronicities that keep happening here. Jeweled web connectivity here. All right. Some people, some of you Virgo, you might be getting connected to a Taurus. That might be what actually is happening here. All right. Your path is starting to uh, connect with other people. And what makes me, what I'm starting to think right now is a quote actually from Minnow Pond um, on here. Y'all have probably seen Minnow Pond is that t he he always says teamwork makes the dream work. Right. And so, or you may have gone from somewhere else, but that's really what I think with this here, Virgo, is that teamwork makes the dream work. I see this as like when you win, others win, at least the ones that like, that you want to be around, right? The ones that actually have truly wanted to see you win, Virgo. And also for you, Virgo, it's just like, I don't know. I just feel like you're going to be finding your people. Community is another word that came to mind. All right. I'm going to close this out, Virgo, because I'm starting to zone out because like channeling, like I'm about to be getting a lot of channel messages. And if I take accept that in um it's going to be a very long reading. Maybe though, Virgo, if you, if some of y'all really want it, um, tug on my heartstrings a little bit in the comments below and let me know that you really want that channel part portion i usually keep those to myself in my private re uh per personal readings uh for stuff like that but if you do let me know in the comments below but um that's the tarot reading that i have for you virgo hopefully this reading gave you some clarity if it did give this video a like and subscribe i really do appreciate y'all giving me your time and energy today all right trusting me to read your cards i don't take it for granted virgo i know there's so many other people you could go to all right remember if you want to book a private reading with me my website is linked down below virgo simply Velka dot com next to my social medias tiktok and instagram both just being simply velga all right and so hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future darling bye virgo